Hey, what's up, guys? It's your old buddy, Bradu. I got a, what could be a fun break. Could be a dud. But it's interesting. Uh, Proline Portraits Signet Series. 1991, I believe, football. Uh, I'm going to rip right into this, and then we'll talk about it. Let's see what we get. So... I've never been a big football collector, but 1990 and 91, I did buy a fair amount of football cards, and this particular set, I always thought was really interesting, and it's got a seal, a sticker seal, I think this was one of the earlier sets that did that sort of thing, because you know there's something special in here, right? So this is one of the earlier sets that had autographs. Let's see if it says anything about the odds. Featuring over 300 personalities, custom photography. Find one of more than 250,000 personally autographed cards randomly. It does not say anything about the odds. And that's what I was curious about. What are the It's going to be a real quick search. Yeah, here's the question. Somebody else had that same question. One in three or four boxes what it says. I believe as a kid that I opened at least a few boxes of this. And I do remember I did pull an autograph once and it was a thrill. I don't remember who I got. But I remember thinking it was freaking awesome. Oh, by the way, I'm ready here. I've got my penny sleeve and my top loader for when we pull the dog. Uh, I, like I said, I think our chances are slim. Not slim, you know, not that impossible, but I think it's under 50%. But we'll see. And I also think while it's kind of a fun set, fun series, some fun pictures and cards that I'm working at, so I hate not working at hard. Pick up the hammer, <laughs> hammer pants. See, these are going to be pretty awesome. Good action shots, good funky whatever. Oh, yeah, the ladies. That's right, the hot wives. I think this is the hottest wife right here. I seem to recall being really excited for Jennifer Montana. I should have remembered that. Uh, <laughs> nice. I'm going to need more penny sleeves for those ladies. So the autographs are on the back. Should I just open the packs and look at the back? No, because the pictures on the front are so interesting too. So I don't know what to do here. I'm using my penny sleeve already. I think I have some backups already. Yeah. So there's a little series of some of the, some of the sexier wives. Some dudes. So I don't even know football without their names on the front. I'm screwed on this. I'm just gonna have to look at that. That one's Dan Seven. Morrissey. Is 
really, this this will be fun because of the character of these cards, but really, in terms of good break versus bad break, this is a killer be killed product. You get an autograph or you don't. You get an autograph, you did great. You don't get an autograph, you did poor. You know, maybe in our first pack, they're obviously not in every pack. Baybet is her name. Baybet goes up. Wow, we, yeah, she was my favorite, I forgot. <laughs> 91? That'd have been. I'll have to get out the calculator for that. 15? That's 15 when these came out. And they didn't usually have hot broads on baseball cards or hammer pants. There's the fridge. Nice, I like the fridge too. Pulling that aside. So, back to the autograph thing. I'm hoping for an autograph. Any autograph. Some of them are worth good money. This is a Tiger Woods looking card of the movie. Tiger? Oh no, I'm not kidding. A wild one. I figured this one was one that I didn't want to do. Like I usually I buy a box of a product. If I just have one box, I don't open it all at once. Like I got a 90 store baseball box here next to me with the, you know, it's got that fun bow card, bow Nellis. Hey, I've already seen a couple of them. Um, yeah, those I'm just going to open a pack at a time to recognize that uh, right there. That's an autograph. OJ. Okay. Right. Head face. Come on, autographs. I wonder what the chances are of getting two autographs. Two autographs. Same box? I think it's unheard of. I don't think that's over. Autographs already at this point in time look like this new horse. Horses. Horses. Stretching shots. Lots of hammer pants. Oh, ugly Christmas sweaters. Pose. Nice pose. Oh yeah, another lady. I remember that one too. I had them all, I'm sure. Like I said, I bought, I think I bought maybe three boxes of these. So, the one box when I got an autograph. I do remember that specifically. So I'll tell that story. I think I've already told it on a video, actually. Funny, which is kind of funny. Cause, like I said, I'm not a normal football collector, but I do remember this quite well. We used to go, when I was a kid, teenager, so I guess this is going to be really sad now that I told you I was 15 when the set came out, because I had told you that I was 12, probably, this time frame in my life. So there were two years, I think two years in a row we did this. went up the Rogue River to a, like a resort spot. My, my childhood, I thought we were going to Rhode Island, Rogue Island, because it was this little island and I had the rogue, the rogue part. So I wasn't any good at geography and I'm still not. But I thought I had been out of Oregon. 
it's not even remotely close. But anyway, we went. There was like this little resorty place. There was a bear. <laughs> there were deer that came around. There was a little like hot springs type pool that we could swim at with whoever else was at the resort, some other kids. All these little parts. There were little salamanders swimming around in the pool that we would catch. That was kind of neat. Um, and we were digging around in the dirt for arrowheads, and we found some. Like, my mom probably still has those, honestly. Um, or we found some. I found this giant spearhead thing. A bunch of little, like, chunks of different None that were really, really clearly an arrowhead. Well, I think there were a couple. But I for sure remember this big flat spearhead looking thing. That was cool. Anyway, what does that have to do with pro line? While we were in at the resort or whatever, up the Rogue River, one of the years that I went, we only went two years. I think it was the second year. Uh, my mom pulls out this box of cards and surprises me. So Out this box of cards and she brought she surprised me with a box of these pro line cards to open to satisfy my card craving while I was on vacation and I pulled an autograph and that was the first autograph I had ever pulled out of a pack because like I said this was autographs were an unheard of thing in 92 I think a couple sets were starting to do these weird things like didn't score or somebody do a Mickey Mantle autograph 90 Donruss, I think you have a 1 in 4 zillion chance at a Ryan Sandberg autograph. But the whole idea of an autograph a box or an autograph every couple boxes or whatever was not a thing yet uh, until this set. I think it was the first one where autographs were fairly common. Not like it's so hard as getting a lot, winning the lottery, winning at least a million dollars. So when I saw these at the card show the other day, I was surprised and I was like, they weren't worth much to me because I don't think, you know, I think your odds of an autograph are low. I think there's no cards worth anything. I think all of this is trash. I don't think there's any rookie cards or any hot cards, but there's fun stuff in here and the chance at an autograph. And that was kind of my lady, Janet Elway. And that was kind of my thing. I thought, you know what? I'll get a box, hopefully pull an autograph. Honestly, if I don't pull an autograph, I'll probably try and find another box sometime. But I'm hoping to get one here. I think that'd be really fun. It would be a real throwback, you know. It's always fun to pull those cards you remember. And this this was just as far as football goes. This set I remember liking because of the autograph. But they're certainly not common. Like I said, my best guess was going to be one every few boxes because I think I bought, I think I had bought a couple boxes trying and struck out. And I got that, box. that was probably my third or fourth box I had to guess. But I don't know that. I just, I just looked it up at the start of the video and somebody else said, I think you get one about every three or four boxes. So that checks out. I love it, they're just like at the park on the monkey bars. Oh, there's another lady. Ladies, Tony Lips. Look at this guy, stripper pole. This guy, I'm not even pulling out stars. Inky Woods with the mullet. Sweet. Pulling out ladies and autographs, and that's all we get.
is in a reasonable way. But having said that, am I really going to show a couple of both versions about that? I'm going to pause right there.